Are you ready to see something pretty darn cool in the world of night riding? Check this out. Boom. It's the latest system by Glowworm Lights, one of my favorite light companies out there. And they have a wireless remote system that controls both lights. Ready to hear about it? So we have here is one of the coolest light systems from Glowworm, a company from New Zealand. This one is the Glowworm X2 Adventure. A 1700 lumens for 208 bucks. And this one is the Glowworm XS 2500 lumens for $288. So you can use, you can just buy, buy just one, uh, one or the other. Or you, but ideally, you use them as a combo. And the really cool trick up their sleeve is this new wireless remote. It comes with one remote each, so you'll have two. But really, you only need one because one button can control both of them. Boom. So you scroll through the modes like that. And a little five-second push will turn them both off. And initially, when I first started riding, I go, I don't need a remote. The, the, the switch is right there. I can reach it, you know. But it's really added to the usability of the light system. And I really kind of kind of fall in love with night riding again. Uh, and what it allows you to do is easily scroll through your modes with one button. And what that does is you could, you could really maximize your runtime. You, you know, you don't need to be... 4,000 lumens strong while you're climbing. But you could, you could get the idea light for the situation and when it's right by your hand, right by your, by your shifter, it actually really works. Installation too is super cool. So first I'll talk about the X2 Adventure. So the X2 Adventure is really nice because it has a tiny light head, 89 grams I believe for this light head. It has a switch too right there. All their, all their mounts are GoPro compatible. They, uh, it comes with their own, but you know, if you have a, a GoPro mount handy already, why not? And it's very nice to mount on the helmet because it's so small and it, it's got a really nice tilt. You can move it all the way forward uh, or, or on top, depending on if you want to hit the visor, interfere with the visor, or if you want to minimize or maximize branch clearance. Uh, depending on what you're riding, right? And what I have really, well, this is kind of what I like to do. I'm, I'm a big fan of flashlight style lights, but with a light like this, no need. Because what I, what I really don't like is a wire hanging off my back uh, into my pocket or, especially now I just wear, uh, what do you call that? Fanny packs. Uh, so the wire gets kind of long. With a backpack, it was, you could do it here. But, so I'm able to mount the, the battery here. This is just a small battery. I believe this thing is good for two hours and this weight counterweights this so it's pretty nice and balanced you know it's it's a it's a fairly light helmet so it's nowhere near it's about 500 grams for this system so you know i hardly notice it but wireless and you can cinch it down make sure it's secure and it really works so i like that and i like that i don't have to reach over the switch i just do do uh, use the remote switch so really cool system and you know what three what glowworm has been around for a long time they've really survived through the copycat lights all the battery scandals and whatnot because they provide well engineered lights that are safe uh, and that have something to differentiate them meaning you know uh, anyone can copy lights but they they really haven't figured out how to do Lights this small, this efficient, and with this much intelligence. So, so if you can only have one light, this is fine. Uh, they also have lower uh, lower price lights. You know, uh, this one is a little more expensive, 288. If you can have two lights, they really complement each other really well. Oh, by the way, by the way, uh, one of the claim to fame um, of Glowworm is they have configurable optics. So this comes with a spot and a wide beam. 
and this is interchangeable. In the package that you buy, we'll have another spot so you can have spot spot or an ultra wide. So you can have spot ultra wide or wide ultra wide. So it's up to you what you want to do. And, and your preference can change depending on whether you have one light or two lights, right? So now let's move into the XS. So the XS is 2,500 lumens, a little bigger battery, uh, pretty, pretty nice battery. These, these batteries are nice. You optimize them for, for the use, and they have a fuel gauge right here. So you can tell very easily how much fuel you have. You know, a lot, a lot of these lights that are very compact, they, 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 they give you the blinkies to four blinks, which means it's full. Who can remember that? But a fuel gauge, you can tell what's going on, right? So very nice way to, to mount it. You don't have these super long wires, uh, but it's long enough that you can mount it on top, on the bottom, um, on the down tube and whatnot. Again, GoPro mount compatible. So if you have GoPro mounts, boom, it just works with that. The, they also have a center mounted system uh, if, if, if that's what you prefer. That's included in the package and very nice, very easy to aim. And these are very small light heads. I believe this thing is 110 grams. Uh, and how they've gotten away, the trick when you have a, a, a tiny light head is, is can you maintain that brightness, 2,500 lumens, and, 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 and not overheat. So the, as you could tell, they have very deep heat sinking. It's kind of a trademark of Glowworm that they, they didn't take a shortcut with heat sinking. You know, we have some lights, 5,000 lumens, 8,000 lumens, and they hardly have any heat sinks. <laughs> so they really can't maintain that light output unless you're going 40 miles an hour all the time, cooling the light, right? So again, GoPros came to fame. They also have, you know, they're from New Zealand. I think they do a lot of night riding there because they figured out how to do the, the light modes, you know? So let's just go through uh, the remote. So once you turn it on, three modes, and there's no flashing. You know, it's, it, it sucks when you have to go through the flash mode when you're on the trail. Flashing is really for commuting, right? And then in this mode, the default, when, when you press it for a long time, it goes into that super dim mode. Super dim is cool, it's super usable, because when you, when you take a break on the trail or, or someone's coming the other way and you want to dim your lights, you know, that's, that's what you need. You don't, you don't need to turn it off, you know, maybe read a map or something, maybe take a break. So this is very handy. And then another press uh, turns it off. So very easy to understand. Again, I'm using one button to do both, but you could do uh, one button to do the headlight, uh, the, the bar light, another button to do the helmet light, you know? So it's all configurable. About a two hour runtime on this, on, on the highest mode. And, and this one is about, I believe, two hour runtime as well uh, on, on, the, on the little battery, maybe, maybe an hour 45. So <laughs> I have a really nifty uh, wiring where, where it's inside the helmet, but it doesn't interfere because I'm using the channels of, of the light. So check this out. So I'll have some, some screenshots uh, or some, some beam shots, but this is the default of the light and it's super usable. You know, if you can, if you can have just one light, do you do helmet or bar? It really depends, depends on your home trails, right? If you have a lot of switchbacks, you need a helmet. Um, uh, but ideally you want both, uh, because you know, it's, that way you don't need your, your light so wide that it sacrifices your, your, your throw, but then you make it wider like this. You go around the switch back, boom, boom. So this has been a real pleasure to, uh, to night ride with. I've had that opportunity, COVID and whatnot, um, so some free time here and there. And and what's cool is it, the lights, I don't like them to call attention to themselves. I don't like the wires, uh, the big batteries and whatnot. They just, they just need to be there. They need to work and they can't be too heavy, you know? 
Um, so this is one of the ideal balances between usability and price. It's not cheap, but I've heard of glowworm users, you know, like five years down the line, you know, they're still using their lights. Uh, and in, in case you want to upgrade, you know, you can just buy the light head. I believe it's a hundred bucks just for the light head. You can use your old batteries and chargers and so many options on optics, uh, batteries and, and whatnot. So there's my spiel on, on the glowworm lights. Uh, if you're a fan, let us know if, 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 uh, if, if you've used, if you have any other favorites, let us know as well. But Glorum is cool. This is just one of their systems. But glancing through their site today, I mean, I've used them for 10 years. Um, they have a $124 system if you're just getting into it. They have a flashlight style, about $150 bucks if you want something that's self-contained, you can walk the dog with. And they have kind of a monster light system, uh, 3,400 3, lumens. So they run the gamut, maybe 34, you know, you know, you could, you could, you know, how much light do you need? It depends, depends how fast you're going and how blind you are <laughs> and who you're riding with. So you, you could go 1200 lumens to 7,000 lumens if you want. So there you go. Thank you for your time.